I'm Pastor George Borkhardt, and this is another Higher Things video short. Fun Word Friday takes on Adiaphora. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you are learning about your Christian faith from places that you never thought you would learn about the faith from, a Lutheran pastor, that is Jack Russell Terrier. Say hello to him. Say hello. There you go. Wave. You want this? Of course you do. Do you want, you want this? First, I require you to give me five. Give me five. There's a good boy. If you are learning about your faith from the two of us, go ahead and like and subscribe today. You can also go to support.higherthings.org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization which is all about passing the faith, See, passing, up, passing the faith on to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. All right, so we got the big dog here, and he's going to help us with the, with the audio... Adiaphora. And now, um, the word adiaphora, which means simply um, those things which are morally indifferent. It's something that is neither commanded or required in Scripture. Now, the history of this goes back to the, the time of the of the Book of Concord, 1548-1555. Um, uh, you'll need to Google the Leipzig interims. These were interims that were set up by the by the uh, Holy Roman Emperor to force the Lutherans and the Roman Catholics back together. Um, and initially they were opposed by Philip Melanchthon, which, who was one of Luther's contemporaries, one of his best friends, his best buddies, and, and one of the major Lutheran players. Um, and so uh, this was opposed initially by Philip, but later on he decided to compromise to allow some of the Roman stuff to be put on the Lutheran stuff that he said was neither required nor commanded. Um, but the Lutherans, being forced and compelled to do something, um, sort of rose up and resisted Melanchthon. And this is huge because um, they're resisting one of Luther's, one of their teachers. And they were led by Matthias Flacius, who um, who led the genuine Lutherans, the Genesio Lutherans, to oppose Melanchthon, Melanchthon's supporters, Philippists, saying that, look, when nothing is an adiaphora, an adiaphoron, when it causes us to break our confession or causes a offense. So something that is free when it's required is no longer free as long as it's required. And so they resisted um, the emperor and his, his, um, his interims. Today, uh, something to think about that is uniquely Lutheran is that things that are neither required by Scripture or spoken about by Scripture are not rejected in the Lutheran Church. They're simply, we're free to do them. And this creates a universe where there's a lot of diversity in worship and the like in the Lutheran Church where something isn't commanded or required. Um, we're free to either do or not do it. Um, if there's no word of God on a subject, the answer isn't necessarily no. It could be yes. Uh, what it's good for teaching and what does it confess? The only time in which is not true when, is when something is put on a Christian's conscience or goes against someone's conscience. A couple of examples in Lutheranism of this is how we baptize. Um, we don't submerge children, uh, babies, or, or anyone, because we were told that by the um, Baptists that we had to. Uh, the use of, of wine, um, red wine, um, in, the fifth, in the 1600s, because the Reform told the Lutherans that since it was a symbol, they had to use red wine, so they didn't. And then someone said they had to use white wine, so they didn't. Um, and again, when something is commanded upon you or required... Um, it's no longer an adiaphora, uh, or an adiaphoron. It's, it's a confession. But on most things in your faith, where there isn't a word of God, you are free to either do or not to do. Free. It's only when something is, is a confession or something is put on you or required of you that isn't biblical that you must resist and say, you know, no thanks. Again, Adiaphora 
controversy um, is in the Book of Concord, handled there, um, and you'll find it in one of the articles of the Book of Concord um, on church practices, Article 10. Again, where something isn't required or isn't spoken against in the scriptures, Lutherans have always felt free to do something until such time as something is put on them and required, and then they're not free. They, they, they have to resist. Um, this could allow for uh, Lutherans to be manipulated between two things. Um, if, the, if, if they got us between two red wine required, white wine required, and all of a sudden we don't know what to do. Um, but that generally doesn't happen. Uh, but this is something that's uniquely Lutheran. Um, other other places impose other denominations impose structure of the church on on individuals or orders of the church on individuals. Lutherans, where it's not specifically laid out in Scripture, we have a lot of freedom unless it's time to make a confession, and then that time comes to an end. Um, you can tell freedom is the way of the gospel, the way of Christ crucified. Um, and the way of Adiaphora. And this has been Fun Word Friday, Adiaphora, and another Higher Things video short.